Hi, it's Amanda again. Um, in my last video, I scheduled my first uh, post using Sense Share. That was a couple of nights ago. So I gave people an opportunity to respond, and then I started tagging people um, this morning. So I tagged those who said yes, but hadn't um, commented yet on my request for age and interest. And then I tagged those that were invited but had not responded yet um, to try to get them to update their RSVP and also give me their age and interest of the kids in their lives. So that did spur some more answers and a couple of updates. So, um, and I, I vary uh, the way that I handle this post. Um, a lot of times I'll respond with just a couple of uh, ideas. Um, being sure to let them know that I'm going to show a lot of books tonight at the party. Um, but uh, I, I think it's fun to give them a little sneak peek. It gets people excited. They realize how unique and how cool our books are. So I like doing that. Um, sometimes I'll just like what they say and say, hi, welcome. Glad you can join us. And then I'll create a um, full wish list for each person that I can then post, um, you know, during the party for them. So, um, so I kind of know what I'm working with now. Um, I have mostly, uh, younger kids. So now I'm going to go back to Scent Share and schedule the rest of my pre-party posts. And I can actually go ahead and just schedule my whole party for um it's for next monday and then i'll be all finished and won't have to think about it until then um so i'm going to actually uh, post a video of all better let's see for entries and looks good and i'm going to post it shortly 245 I just think I just love this book and it always gets a great response. So I go ahead and do that. And then this party isn't uh, super active, not a ton of um, RSVPs yet. So I, I'm not going to ask them to create their own wish list. I usually only do that on really, really active parties where people are really into it. Um, but I am going to use this post, um, which has a link to my business page because I think it does, it gives another good preview of what we have to offer. And I'm just going to edit it a little bit. So like for one entry, for two entries, comment here with your favorite recommendations. Okay, looks great. So I'm going to actually schedule this for tomorrow and probably right around that time seems to be when people in this party are available. I'm going to schedule that. And then I'm going to give them a break on Saturday and post on Sunday that I'm going to offer free shipping to my unlucky punctual guest. Join in. Okay, great. Um, maybe I'll make that one a little bit. Oh, just a little bit later. 15 in the afternoon. Wendy's party. Okay. 
Um, let's see. I also like Busy Train. Yep, yep. There were some people interested in Busy Train. So I'm going to use this for my morning up post. That Wendy's party is tonight. Okay. That's from Monday morning. Okay. And then. Finally, I love this graphic. I think it's a really good reminder about getting buying new books. Um, the first time I saw it, it really it really spoke to me. I thought, huh, they're so right. <laughs> I need to look through our bookshelves. Uh, Wendy's party, grab a drink, find Wendy's virtual form party. And, okay, and that's for Monday night. There we go. So now I can go and uh, just copy all the posts that I want to use for my party. Um, but that's sort of my process and the way that I try to get ahead and just um, give myself peace of mind that I'm all set for my party next week. And so between now and then, all I have to do is comment um, and respond to things. Thanks.